this job. Back to square one. Get up now and go and say hello to Eric. That is the man who desperately wanted to marry me. Oh, oh my God. Come to my house and rape my wife. Excuse me. Do what I say. That girl be mine. You can mark my words. He has a lot of money to throw away. When you get to know a man like me, you'll have your own car. What do you want, he gets? Don't touch me! What do you want from me? No woman alive is supposed to say no to me. His insatiable quest to live life on the fast lane entangles him in a web of blackmail and betrayal. Break my wife? She is so sweet. I'm on top of this game. His money and power cannot get him the most things he cherishes in life. I'll make you live like a princess. I already live like a princess. Fatal Seduction, a film produced by the producers of Dancing Heart and Consequences. Umwa for Anayo, directed by Andy Amenuchi. Fatal Seduction, starring Jim Ike, Iniedo, Mike Ezuranye, and Tony Umborisa. Fatal Seduction, marketed and distributed nationwide by Annex Merchandise Limited, 51 Ewika Road of Nature, 5 stroke 6 Ibn Kudulene in Dumata, Lagos, and 2 Park Road, Aba. Also available at number 10 Ubakasim Plaza, Alaba International Market, Lagos. Visit our website at www.annexfilm.net. Fatal Seduction. Hotel with a guy. Susan. Fred, what are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here with my photograph? There is no more wedding between I and Lucia. That girl is evil. I even heard the mother was a witch before she died. The girl that is supposed to be my friend, and you slept it up. She's highly professional in our game. A million naira as pocket money. You know those kind of men are meant for big girls like us. She has stepped on so many people's toes. Don't so under fire you and fire that devil that taught you how to steal a man's wife. <laughs> Shameless prostitute. So it might still be you wanted, isn't it? If the man says he doesn't want you again, why would you want to kill yourself? You were the one that made me look ridiculous in front of Fred. But just when she thinks that she's on top of her game, Nemesis sets her on a collision car. Don't let her go! She's the one! She's the one! I will give this girl! Hey! I will just... It's a true life story. Who is getting married? That idiot that killed your job. Hanex Merchandise Limited presents Silent Bonner. Directed by Andy Chuku. Produced by Umwafo Anayo, the producer of Dancing Heart. Silent Bonner. Starring Ini Edo, Adaura Oko, Uche Jumbo, and Andy Chuku. Silent Bonner. Marketed and distributed nationwide by Annex Merchandise Limited, 51 Iweka Road on Nature, 5 stroke 6 Ebin Kudulene Dumata Lagos, and 2 Park Road Aba. Also available at number 10 in Plaza, Alaba International Market Lagos. Visit our website at www.annexfilm.net. Silent Bonner. He doesn't want you again. He's to go and steal me. That's what you know how to do. Ah. Go up and down now. We are best of friends, business partners. You spent a lot of money just to facilitate that deal. You don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. Until a girl walked into their lives. Is this your chum? Is this your Clara? You two know each other? I don't want you close to that girl ever. Are you threatening me? She has a purpose to destroy them and make them pay for a sin they committed and turn their dreams into nightmare. Game is dangerous. Who wins in the game of minds? It would have been easier to poison you two silently, but I prefer to watch you two fight each other and then kill each other. Alex Films Production presents Extreme Measure, directed by Andy Aminiji, produced by Umafo Anayo. Extreme Measure, starring Pat Atta, Desmond Elliott, and Mona Lisa Chinda. Extreme Measure. Marketed and distributed by Annex Merchandise Limited, 51 Ewika Road of Nature, 5 Stroke 6 Ebenko Delaney in Dumata, Lagos, and 2 Park Road, Aba. Also available at number 10 Ubakasin Plaza, Alaba International Market, Lagos. Visit our website at www.annexfilm.net. Extreme Measure. You almost killed me because of a woman! I'll make sure you die such a miserable death! In the beginning, 
She worshipped and adored him. Why are you bringing him to us? He hasn't spoken to me about marriage yet. But you are sleeping with him. Unknown to her, he had an age of his sleep. I don't want to marry you. I can't commit a bullshit, not in my life. No. She wakes up one morning to discover that the very thing she cherished so much was only a mirage. You don't deserve anything good in your life. You will regret this. Please help me beg her. She's carrying my child. I am Danielle's wife. After all these years and all this time, I brought you into my life and all you've been doing is just playing me up and down like this? He has to face the consequences of his actions. I will not come home for this type of thing anymore. Please have mercy. Annex Merchandise Limited presents Consequences, produced by Mufo Anayo. And directed by Andy Chuku. Consequences. Ramsey Moore, Pete Henshaw Motto, Obi Okafo, and Andy Chuku. Consequences. Don't you ever send for me again. I don't even know who you are. You don't exist. Marketed and distributed nationwide by Annex Merchandise Limited, 6 Ebbing Badalini Lagos, 51 Uwaka Road on Nature, and 2 Park Road Abba. Visit our website www.annexfilm.com. Consequences. <laughs> This is a love story between two young people in the early 1930. Their love come under heavy trial. But all forces in the village are against their relationship. <laughs> but not even they're being treated. From all corners will stop or separate them. Let him bring the palm wine here. Let me see who will refuse the palm wine. Not even the humiliation <laughs> suffered by the girl's mother. The blood of my enemies to get me to trouble. <laughs> A film produced by the producer of Supremacy, Dancing Heart and Corporate Runs. Produced by Uwafo Anayo, directed by T. Chidi Chikere. Let him go away so we can survive. If the is walking away, I am walking away with him. I will live and die with him. Stronghold. What happened to you? They're planning something. I can feel it in my spirit. What are we going to do? Stronghold. Marketed and distributed by Annex Merchandise Limited, 51 Ewe Road on Nature, 5 Stroke 6 Ebi Kodilene Dumata Lagos, and 2 Park Road Abba. Also available at number 10 Ubakasin Plaza at Laba International Market Lagos. Visit our website at www.annexfilm.net. Stronghold. We promised to be there for each other as many times as trouble comes. I think of you every day of my life. Stronghold.
where are you? Baby? Are you alright? Huh? You were mm. dreaming. Was it a nightmare? Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh. I can't believe this. At my age, I'm still dreaming out loud. Come on, it could happen to anyone. What was it? Uh, it was such a beautiful dream about songs and flowers. You know? We were holding hands and singing. We? Oui. What do you mean, we? Oui? You and I, or you and other people? Come on, baby, of course it was you and I. Are you sure it was you and I? Who else would I be dreaming of when you're lying right here by my side? Besides, our wedding comes up before Christmas. Eight o'clock. Uh, what is the problem? You two are most liable engineers and you used to be very meticulous. Now what is the problem? Uh, sorry sir, it was the rain yesterday. Promise it wouldn't happen again. Rain? Can you tell that to the MD? Look, I want you two to always supervise those rocks made mixtures before they are used by those laborers. This is federal government project for God's sake. I don't want to be caught to the ERCC or associated with failed uh, uh, collapse structures. Oh, it will never come to that, sir. Our eyes will never skip the details. Talking about details, you are the quality control officer. And should anything happen, it will crash down your shoulder first before any other body. So you go, you guys go back to side now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. What were you telling me last night? About? Well, let me get this straight. You say you usually go to bed with your fiance, but end up having this fantasy dream with another woman. Exactly. This is the seventh time. <laughs> In one word, Eric, you're cheating on Anna. I'm not cheating on Anna. Then who is this woman that you usually fantasize about? Um. Actually, I've seen her twice, but nothing transpired because we didn't even get the opportunity of an introduction. So how come you fantasize about someone you barely know? This is exactly my point. This is why I'm worried. Uh, you know, I think you need a deliverance. Philip, be serious. 
<laughs> but of course I am. I am. Okay, tell me. Do you believe in dreams? What exactly are you getting at? Supposing God is trying to use these dreams to warn me that Anna is not the right person for me. <sighs> well, uh... I guess we will all attend your wedding. Of course you will attend my wedding. In your dreams. <laughs> when, when will you ever take something I, I say seriously? I mean, when will you ever get serious? Oh, come on, Eric. Listen, let's discuss this at the end of your wedding with Anna. Okay, then we've got a lot more work to do. Come on. Well, back to what I was saying before, I think. funeral. Behave yourself and you live to see your family when they return from London. Good. Now that we have understanding, relax. Boys, do as I say and this nightmare will go away. Please, I have 400,000 naira in the bedroom, please. Take it, but do not kill me, please. Chief, I am not interested in your 400,000. Neither do I want to kill you, unless you so desire. But, but what do you want? Shh. You will sign two check leaves for 40 million naira each. I don't want that kind of money. Please. Chief. Your wife and children are on holiday in East London. They left with British Airways. Flight 774 to BC 427. They will return in two weeks' time after a brief stopover at your sister's place in France. Your company was recently awarded with a contract of 120 million naira from Shell. And the money cleared into your account on the 20th of February. The name of your account officer is Kennedy Ibrahim. And the account number, 56 Should I go on, Chief? No. Chief Emenike, born on the sixth day of July, 1944. You see? We know everything about you. Please, I will give you my car, including the 400,000 naira. Please, Chief, have mercy on me. Chief, please. Do not mock me. You are standing between life and a painful death. The choice. Sign the check. My men will hold you hostage here while I get down to the bank. All I need from you 
is to give confirmation when your account officer Kennedy calls. Once the money clears, you'll be free. But if he tries to be smart, you will die a painful death. immediate payments. Don't worry about us. You know what to do. Good boss. Good luck. Your head down. Lie down now. is quite new. I see. Have you called the account owner for confirmation? Yes, I did. But before we could barely talk, the line went dead. And when I tried to reach him again afterwards, I didn't get any response. Hmm. You must get confirmation. 40 million naira is not a simple money to come by. Hmm? Until confirmation comes, no payment. Okay, sir. Is that okay? I'll do just that. All right. have been an overdose to his weak heart. The bank refused to honor the check. They insisted on hearing his verbal confirmation before effecting payment. Oh my God. Yes, they, uh, they, they called him, all right, but he didn't say much before he gave up. Now listen, both of you must leave the place at once. The man had a weak heart. And I feared there were chances this could happen. Leave the place at once. We'll do that right away. Come on, let's get out of here. Fantasy Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Feminike died two days ago in his house. Jesus Christ. Two days ago? Yes, sir. The same day the check was purportedly issued? Exactly. This is serious. This is a dangerous twist, you know. Yes. You said the customer did business with the late chief. Well, that was what he told me. In that case, I think you have to contact Chief Emilike's wife for confirmation. All right. Um, I guess that won't be a problem because she's been expected into the country to witness the autopsy that will be performed on her husband's body. Oh, good, 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 good. Good. Well, Kennedy, Sir. I must say that um, I'm impressed with the way you are handling the whole issue. Thank you, sir. Please do keep me posted. All right, Thank sir. I should be on my way now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Helen, you're so beautiful. Helen. Uh. Uh. Helen. We're talking in your sleep again. No, I wasn't. Who is Helen? Helen? I beg your pardon. You were mentioning a name in your sleep. Helen. <sighs> Who is she? And is this one of your jokes again? I mean, get... Oh my God. It's 8 o'clock. I'm late for work again. I think I'm going crazy. I mean, I, I, I think I'm losing it. I keep embarrassing myself before my fiance every night. <laughs> Why? You couldn't perform? Come on, man. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I keep dreaming about the same girl every night. Oh, you mean the romantic demon that you are married to in your spirit world? Because that's what it looks like. Philip, please be serious for once. Look. The situation has gotten so bad that I even ended up calling out her name so loud in my dream. And Anna heard it? Of course she heard it. Uh, over and over again. Uh, look, look, look. She, she even ended up asking me what that was all about and I denied not knowing what she was talking about. <sighs> you see, Eric, to be very honest, I don't know what this is all about. But I think you need help. Maybe you're not telling me something. Something? I'm telling you the whole truth. All right. Now, whatever this thing is, huh, you've got to be very careful. And try not to let it ruin your chances with Anna. <sighs> Philip, up. Well, whatever. Whatever. Um, we have to side 67. I'll see you later. permission before touching or kissing me. What are you talking about? Who is Helen? You don't know the engine of your dreams anymore? You need night sensation. Is this a joke or are you just trying to pull my legs? Do you take me for a fool, Eric? Do you? Who is she? I'm, I have no idea what you're talking about. out loud in your dreams. You're whispering her name in your sleep. Even when I'm right there beside you. Honey, listen. There is no Helen. Okay. I mean, she's just a non-existent character in my dreams. 